Okay, so I'm gonna run over here. Oh, the other guy I was trying to pick off. Got my pin missile. Now let's try to get some guys with the spot. Oh shit, like three guys there. Holy crap, I got pain colored. Let's try to pick him off again. That shotgun. Oh, what the hell? One, two. Oh my god, I just got owned. Alright, so let's use this Pred Missile. Let's see if I can get anyone. Let's try to be sneaky and get that thing in. Whoa! Triple! Hey everyone, how's it going? Jewish Commentator here, bringing you guys a new video for TG and FPS. And instead of Jewish Commentator, I should probably start calling myself McLovin because that's who I really am. So today, I'm bringing you guys a very quick free-for-all game on Subbase with the AK-47. I hope you guys will like the gameplay, but today we're not really going to talk about that. We're going to talk about a pretty different topic, I would have to say. I haven't really seen uh, many people or pretty much anyone uh, making a video like this. Let's just get started today. I want to talk about, you know, you rating yourself as a Call of Duty player. Now first of all, let me present the question and then I'm going to rate myself. Also, once you finish watching this video, uh, please rate yourself as a Call of Duty player. You know, just leave a comment saying what you think you are. And also watch the whole video so you know what to rate yourself as. We'll be talking about KD, accuracy, and strategy. So first of all, just ask yourself, how many kills do I get in the game? And I guess this could be from 1 to 10, from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, or 30 plus, I guess that's how you would say it. If you get 1 to 10, that would probably be a 5. If you get 10 to 20, that would be around maybe a 5 to a 7. 20 to 30, 7 to a maybe like a 9. And over 30, that would be a 10. Because if you could get 30 kills in any game, every game, that would mean that you'd probably be a pretty good player. Above average, of course. Now, you should also ask yourself how many you know deaths you get in the game because that's also pretty important. So... Uh, you know, play like a couple of matches and see what's your KD. Say you get 20 kills and 5 deaths, that's a 4 KD, that's pretty good. Say you get, you know, 15 kills and 7 deaths, that's around like a 2 something KD, that's also very nice, but that's not amazing. Also, you might want to look at your accuracy and play some free for all games and see how many of them you win. Over here, you actually see me play some free for all, and I won this game with a pretty nice score, so I guess that's nice. Alright, now let's just start about me rating myself. So first of all, my average kill in a team deathmatch game is over 25 and under 35. So if I get around, you know, 30 kills in a team deathmatch, that's usually what I get in le less than 10 deaths. So that's around a 3kd every game. So like I said before, in a team deathmatch, regular team deathmatch, I get around maybe 25 to 30 kills and less than 10 deaths, which should be over a 2.5kd. Which is nice, you know, it's uh, it's pretty good, it's above average. Uh, now, the amount of deaths that I get is usually less than 10, but it depends who I'm playing. Sometimes it increases, sometimes it also decreases. Alright, so now let's move on to my overall gun skill, how many shots I miss, how many shots I get in. So it looks like it takes me around 7 bullets to kill a guy, uh, where, like with the AK-47, when it only takes 3 shots to kill someone. So that looks like I miss, you know, it takes like 2 to 3 shots to kill someone, and I spend between 7 to 10 shots on each guy, so my accuracy is alright, this is something I want to improve, this is also something I'm working on. So it looks like my accuracy is alright, I would probably give it like a 5 or 6, because yes, I don't spend like half a mag on someone, but I do want to spend less bullets, so you know, I could use state of hand on all my classes. Pretty much my goal is to get three guys or three kills with the one magazine, which you know it's uh it might sound like oh okay uh ten shots per guy, but it's usually a little more because three guys, you know you usually spend more than ten shots when you see three people and you also reload so you it's kind of hard to know, All right? So we talked about KD, we talked about accuracy, now let's talk about strategy. So I think my strategy is all right. It's not as good as other gamers because I I have this history of Call of Duty where I started rushing, then I went to hardcore camping, then to quick scoping, then to camping, and then to what I do now. So I guess my strategy is pretty messed up, which is something I would like to fix. I'm working on trying to fix it, but I'm just not having too much success. You know, in my games, you kind of see me rush, you kind of see me camp. 
all that stuff. And you also see me, you know, if I see a sniper rifle, I like to pick it up, so uh, that's also something about me. So I guess my strategy would be around a 7 because I know where people spawn at, I know where to look at. Oh, and by the way, something else that shows that you have a good strategy is if you get a lot of messages complaining from other people. When I used to camp, I got a lot of messages, but now I camp a little less, so I get, you know, maybe a message per week, which is alright. Alright, so I hope this video wasn't too boring for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, so if you can please leave a comment to this video and tell me what you think about yourself as a COD player or about the commentary. Now also try to only look at the Slayer side. I might also do an objective side, but I'm just better at slaying, so I guess it's, it will be more suitable for me to do this. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me and TGNFPS. Alright guys, I'm McLovin.